what's up y'all so if you guys remember i told you once i got monetized at the very end of december i was like hey if you guys uh donate any money through the paypal link or if you do super chats i will be taking a portion of that and putting it towards charity work so what ended up happening because it takes a month for all of this to be figured out so from january plus my last three days of december with the super chats i ended up making a uh, hundred twenty four dollars and ninety six or seven cents something like that i'm trying to remember off the top of my head guys but if i'll put the numbers right here right on the screen so you guys can see it and then also um school of the world shout out to you as well uh she gave me the idea to use the paypal link because paypal actually doesn't take any money off of that period and uh i'm gonna have her total listed right here out of all of that money it was not a lot uh i was supposed to take 20 percent to go towards charity now because it was not a lot of money i just said screw it and i was like we're gonna take a hundred dollars of this and put it towards charity the little amount that's left over is really just gas in my car <laughs> to not only get me to the store to buy these things but also so i can get to the homeless shelter to drop these things off so what i told you guys i was going to end up doing i was going to make tote bags for the homeless which is basically just a bag filled with essential things that they will be needing in their life right um I'm going to be going to Dollar Tree to kind of just price out what this would be. Now, based on my list, if I could find all of this stuff at Dollar Tree, the most I should be spending per bag should be $16.25 before tax, which should give me about six bags to make in total. Now, I know that's not a lot. That's not a lot of bags, but it's a beginning. It's a beginning to start something, right? As long as we get the ball moving, I think that's all that really matters at the end of the day. So we're going to go over this list real quick of essential items. So we have deodorant, shampoo, conditioner, toothbrush, toothpaste, body wash, hand and or body lotion, razors, shaving cream, new underwear. Now, I don't know if I'll be able to find that at Dollar Tree, I'm gonna be honest with you. So if it's not there, that's probably not gonna make the bag. New socks, that's definitely at Dollar Tree. Women's hygiene products, so basically like pads and stuff. Um, I think what I'm gonna do, I'm probably gonna buy pads regardless and put them in every bag, but maybe put like a note attached to it that says, hey, if you don't need this, pass it on to the next woman you see. You know, just so they could potentially still get used. Um, those are the basics. And even with that said, like socks, how many pair of socks do I put in there? I don't know how many come in a pack at Dollar Tree. You know, um, that would have to add to the cost as well. So I have to think about that, you know. Um, I, I told you guys before I know how to coupon, but there's only certain things you can really coupon. So I had to think about that as well. Because I can coupon toothpaste all day, but it's all it's very dependent on the area you live in and the rules of the stores around you. So back in the day when you can just use like paper coupon after paper coupon, uh, the people who glitter ruined that process in my area. And for those that don't know, glittering is basically when people just make fake coupons. <laughs> <laughs> to, to scam the system everything has to be digital now so you can run coupon deals digitally but at that point it's like one coupon per account so i can make multiple accounts but now i have to go to different stores i can't i can't like sit there at the register do a purchase and then right after that be like okay here's my second purchase and put a new number in if you know the people at the store and they cool with it but some people will be tripping I remember one time my boyfriend has an account and we, we did like a detergent deal for ourselves and I put my stuff along my coupon and then he was right after me and she was like, oh, this is only supposed to be one per household. Are y'all together? It's like, lady, why do you care? <laughs> like, it ain't, none of this is your money. And then the coupon, all that happens is the, the company sends that money back to the store or something anyway. So I don't, I don't know. I don't understand it, but we're gonna hop in the car we're gonna go to dollar tree and we're gonna see what they have together and what i'm able to get so we're on my gopro right now and we about to switch to camera phone mode because i don't know if i'm allowed to take this into the store with me but i'll see you guys in one second all right y'all 
as you can see i'm in family dollar i'm trying to be quiet because i don't want people to be looking at me like what's she doing but here's the uh here's everything so the way the way everything was broke down okay um i went ahead and i got eight uh little tote bags so i'm gonna pick one up so I got eight little drawstring bags and I'm gonna fill them up with every, I was able to find everything y'all. And I hit a hundred dollars on the dot. Now obviously that doesn't factor in tax. So tax gonna come out of my pocket, which is essentially still the money y'all gave me. So when I said gas money and stuff, tax gonna cover that. <laughs> but yeah, I hit a hundred dollars on the head buying all of this stuff to make eight bags. So I'm gonna go pay for this and then, um, yeah, I'll see you guys when we get back home and we're gonna prep everything together. So I'll see you in a second. And just like that, I'm back home. But uh, let me show you guys how many bags we have. This is everything that your guys' money bought, which is wonderful. I love it. Let me pull the receipt so you guys can see how much how much damage we've done. And let me lay everything out on the able too. On the, on the able. Let me lay everything out on the table so you guys can see what all we got. And I'm gonna start making these tote bags. So give me one second, okay? All right, as you guys can see, this is everything that your Super Chats ended up getting. So as you can see, we have the drawstring bags. I have eight of those. So we have eight of everything else, right? My cat is being so nosy, bruh. None of this is for you. <laughs> he think everything is for him. Everything not for him. Like this for the <laughs> All right, but anyways, we have deodorants. We have shaving cream. We have bars of soap, wash rags, razors, toothpaste, socks. Um, I bought the female pads. So like I said, I bought the pads anyways, and it's enough where I could put eight in each one, but I'm gonna put a note with it saying like, hey, um, if you're a man and you receive this, please pass these on to any woman that would need them, right? Uh, I got toothbrushes. Up here, we got the body lotion, we got conditioner, shampoo, and I also got some of these little bags. So like the bigger items, they all could just have like um, plastic bags to put their stuff in. And I feel like this is cool. This is cool right here. This isn't bad. Uh, the damage that was done from the Dollar Tree receipt, this is probably the longest Dollar Tree receipt I ever got in my life. Mind you, this is making eight bags, right? This is the longest receipt of my life. Let me flip it. This is the longest receipt of my life. You guys ended up spending $106.89, which isn't bad. That's after tax and everything, so. Clap it up for yourselves. You guys did a wonderful job. I am going to start piecing all of this together. And then it's Monday. I need to, I'm gonna contact that homeless shelter and be like, hey, do you guys want these eight tote, tote bags I made up? If not, I'll go around this weekend and pass them out on my own. But we have options, right? They can hand them out themselves to people they know or I can hand them out myself. Sir, none of this is for you. Look at, look at him. Look at him. Look how I treat him, man. He got the automatic feeder with the robot. We just bought an automatic water bowl, so that's getting replaced on Wednesday. The box it came in, the people was like, save the box, it turns into a cat home. Right, he has all this stuff. He has toys on toys on toys, yet, he keeps trying to touch this. Sir, this ain't for you. You don't live on the streets. Little goofy cat. Let me, <laughs> let me start piecing all this together and I'll see you guys in a second. One down, seven more to go. I'll see you guys in a minute. And voila, finished product. 
as you guys see we got eight bags now before you be like so why is there like two pink bags they ran out of red <laughs> that's the only reason i was i was trying to make all of them the same colors they didn't have black so i'm like okay you got red and pink i'm just trying to get all red but they ran out so i had to get pink um the only thing i have to do now i have to put uh notes inside each one where it's like about the the women's tampons there's eight in each bag and they're like the heavy flow ones too so i figured that should help a little bit better especially if you're like you're homeless you don't really have access all like that and i gotta put the notes in there saying like hey if you're a guy that receives this bag pass these um feminine products on to somebody that's gonna need them and then also like at the top of it it's just gonna be like packed with care from the uh i don't really have a name for us so it's, it's just gonna be the it's your girl saying youtube community i guess i don't know that's all i got that's all i got um other than typing the notes i'm gonna go ahead and email um city mission which is in uh downtown cleveland that's the homeless shelter i gave a bunch of stuff to earlier what was it last month i gave a bunch of stuff to them last month on oh on valentine's day actually now that i remember so i'm gonna go ahead and email them because they do have a thing where you can go get bags from them it's like 25 bags and they're just like once they're filled up bring them back down i didn't get them because i knew with a hundred dollars we could not afford to fill 25 bags like at all but now i know that a hundred dollars plus tax what it was it was 106.89 can fill eight could fill eight bags and the only thing i didn't get that was on that list was new underwear because dollar tree doesn't like at least the one i was at they didn't have underwear so um but i think we did good you know with the way certain things were packaged in quantity for like a dollar 25 eight bags and like look they're stuffed they're they're like stuff i don't know if you see it but that that's pretty good that's pretty good that should last a while until they get some more bags. But yeah, I'm going to go email them, see what's going on. If they don't take them, which would be crazy if they didn't take it, right? Um, I'm just going to drive around solo dolo and just be like, hey, do you guys want an essentials bag? It has things that you need in it. And we'll just go from there. Um, so I will check back in in a second with whatever the next step is. <laughs> All right, y'all, we're on our way to dropping everything off at the homeless shelter. I can't flip my camera around because I'm using my cell phone. Well, hopefully, y'all can see it. But this is all eight bags in this right here. And then this bag right here is just clothes. So that has nothing to do with y'all. But since I'm going out there, I might as well do everything in one trip. Um, once we get there, I don't want to be putting cameras in people's faces because I think that's kind of weird and rude. So I'll see y'all in a second when I am done with everything so see y'all in a minute really trunks my guy cats am i right no but as you guys see i'm back home we dropped everything off at uh the city mission which is a homeless shelter that's downtown and that's about it you know we we did what we wanted to do you guys donated your money. We flipped it into eight essential bags for the homeless. Give yourselves a round of applause, man. Give y'all a round of applause. So, what does this mean? What is the next project? Well, if you've been watching the live streams lately, you will know that the next project is us doing the uh, backpack drives for kids going back to school. So, I will be going through Volunteers of America they are going to be servicing Indiana and Ohio. And since I live in Ohio, that's why I pick them. They do this every year. And they actually are going to be start collecting the book bags as soon as school ends in June. So I believe Ohio starts near like the end of June and it goes all the way up until August. Essentially, the only reason I'm starting now is because this is gonna take a lot of money to accomplish. Um, like I said in one of the live streams, I was randomly just financially blessed one day so uh, i took 200 dollars out of that to kind of start us off with this process right out of that 200 dollars i'm able to get us 48 book bags for just slightly under 150 dollars so that's going to be leaving us with 51 dollars to use to um add on to whatever you guys end up donating right so just to put things into perspective 
I'm going to try to wait until we get close to school ending because that's when um, school supplies start going on clearance and I can just start getting a bunch of stuff for dirt cheap. My cheapest option at the moment, if we don't go that route, literally is the dollar store, you know? So we're talking about one notebook for a dollar, one folder for a dollar. But you have to think about it. We have 48 book bags to fill and essentially like 48 notebooks alone is $48. And they're gonna need a lot of just basic school supplies. So we're gonna need a lot of money to, to jumpstart this off. So. I figured I'd start on my own, I'd at least get us the bag. So we have 48 bags we need to fill. And once that happens, I'll make another video for that whole process. But that's the next thing we're going to be doing is the book bag drive. So we have April, May, and even June, like however much money it takes in donations to fill these bags up, as long as I can get them filled and dropped off before the, the last date. And I believe the last date for Ohio is in August before school even starts. So we have time. We have time. So that's the next goal we're going to tackle as a community. Thank you guys for everything. I really do appreciate y'all because without y'all, um, I, don't, I don't know if this would have happened or not, you know? Like because of you guys, we were able to make eight essential bags. <laughs> I don't, I don't think y'all realize like how beneficial that is when I dropped that off today and I asked the guy because I was like am I in the right area to drop this off and he was like yep yo yep, we thank you so much thank you for your blessings and whatnot and it's like all I did was get the stuff and put it together that was all y'all now I know originally I did say I was gonna take the stuff and do it for charity I didn't know what I was gonna do it for like I didn't know how this was gonna go and you guys believed in it enough that we were able to do this. So, because of you guys, we, we're gonna be doing a lot for the community. But the next main focus is gonna be the book bag drive. So, till then, make sure you guys come hang out on the live streams. We have a lot of fun. I live stream now Monday through Friday at 7 p.m. EST on Monday and Tuesday. I do what's called the conservative Christian show, where we talk about conservative and Christian topics. Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, I have Christian game room where I'll be gaming while we talk we talk Christianity. That's all we do. And while we're in there, like if you guys want to drop the donos, as you can see, this this is the type of stuff it goes towards. So until next time, until I see you guys on live or for another one of these videos or whatever, until then, you already know who it is. I'm out of here.